Alrighty, so you guys have been asking for quite some time for a new Blue Jays rebuild. I'm talking one that includes a Bichette, Biggio, Vlad Jr., Lourdes Gurriel, and they're all like upgraded. Like all their ratings have been adjusted. They've been, you know, put to the point where they're like MLB ready. They're usable for franchise from day one. And I'm excited to try out this team. I think this team is going to be very, very scary within three seasons. Like it's crazy good how they're going to be. All they got to do is like we got to sort out this pitching that's a little shaky. There's no Stroman. There's no Aaron Sanchez. Really, it, it's, it needs some pitching. Once we get that pitching sorted, oof, this team's going to be scary. So if you guys want to see some more rebuilds, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And in the comment section, let me know what you want to see in the future. Other than that, guys, let's get into this rebuild. All right, when we look at this squad, like I said, the pitching is the big question mark. Baraki sometimes is a beast. Sometimes he's really bad. We got Trent Thornton, um, Clayton Richards, Pannone, and Reed Foley. I mean, we really need to find some good pitching. I feel like once we get that figured out, we're set. To Paralaw, Meza, Gaviglio, Boschers, Kingham, Font. It's not a really strong bullpen. We're, I'm definitely going to want to improve this. Ken Giles is a key piece that I don't want to lose. Um, I guess we'll just send somebody down from triple. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I want to do. Um, we'll just send someone down from triple A just because that's really bothering me that that's red on the corner there. Um, Danny Jansen and Reese McGuire are going to be our two catchers. Um, I don't think we need any catchers. They both develop very, very quickly. Justin Smoke at first. I think Rowdy Tellez is very underrated in this roster. I, I'm using the new riding rosters, but... I think it's a little underrated there. Kevin Biggio is going to be our second baseman. No need to change that. Vlad, he's going to be playing third. Not even going to freak out about that. Jordan Groshans turns into a stud. If you can give him like four or five seasons, this guy gets really, really good. I mean, the team looks good for the future. We're going to trade Freddie Galvis because he's not really good in a sim style franchise. And we got Flo, Bo, Bichette. There's no reason to get any other shortstop at all. Lourdes Gurriel is 100%. Our left fielder, he turns into a Barry Bonds clone. He hits bombs. And he's just so good. He's crazy good. I mean, Barry Bonds is probably a little bit of an overstatement, but like he gets really good. A little bit of an exaggeration, but he's he's pretty good. Teoscar Hernandez, I'll give him a season. Sometimes he turns into a little bit of a glitch in franchise. So we'll see how he does. And then we got Randall Gritchick, who's got a massive contract. I'm not too sure about that one, but we'll see how things go. I know Derek Fisher is actually up in the bigs as well, but I might just trade him, see what we can get out of him, maybe get a pitcher. So overall, I like the team. I think we got really good pieces. Obviously, Vlad, Biggio, Guriel, Bichette. I can't really keep naming them off because it's so obvious, but um, I think we're really good. We just got to get this sorted, and I think we're winning a World Series by like season two. I know. It's a tall, it's a tall, tall order to complete, but I think we can do it. So to start the trades off, we're going to go for Pudge's son, Derek Rodriguez. I don't think we've traded for him in quite some time. We're getting rid of two players that aren't going to be used at all. Devin Travis and then Freddie Galvis. And then a pitcher who is very low rated in Eric Pardino. I know in real life he is very, very, very coveted as a starting pitching prospect. But he's just too low rated for this rebuild. Arnie, TJ Zuck, Clayton Richard, and Clay Buckholtz. Um, Basically, he's got a two-year deal I don't want. And Clay Buckholtz has... Just an age, it's an aging pitcher I don't want. We're gonna go for Garrett Richards of the Padres. Um, he's kind of like a budget beast. I know it's so, it's seven million, so it's kind of expensive, but overall, you know, it's a two-year deal. We can trade him after this year if he doesn't work out. And for two years, I mean, I don't think it's like it's gonna be too bad. It gives us a little bit better of a pitching staff. Alright, Kevin Smith, Buddy Boshers, and then Justin Schaefer, who's a potential, but like he's 62 overall. And of course, I back out. So what we're going to do here is who did I say it was um, Kevin Smith, Buddy Boschers, and then um, nope, nope, nope. Justin Schaefer for the reliever who I've already forgot who was the reliever I was going for. Kyle Crick um, of the Pirates. I've seen a lot of people comment to try to get Kyle Crick. They say he's always a beast. I'm going to give him a shot. So we're not going to make too many changes. Really, I just wanted to strengthen the, the pitching core a little bit. And I th I feel like after the trades that we made, we definitely did. I mean, Nick Kingham is, was in AAA. I think he could be a decent little long relief arm for us. We got Crick now, who is actually going to be our setup guy instead of Derek Law. We got Gaviglio Font. Kind of a weak link. I might actually send him down and bring somebody else up. We do have some other lower rated players who could step up. 
um, we got Meza, Crick, Giles, and then we got this the starting rotation. It doesn't look amazing, but you know I feel like it could do some damage or maybe just at least kind of stay consistent in like the mid to high three ERAs. I could I could dig that. We got McKinney, Tejas, and Reese McGuire on the bench, and then when you look at our lineup, we got Biggio, Drury, Guerrero Jr., Smoke, Guriel. Grichik, Tasker, Hernandez, and Bo Bichette. I'm going to leave Bo Bichette a little bit lower in the lineup just to start um, the season just because he is a little bit lower. Oh, we also have our boy Danny in the catching spot. So we're going to change the lineup probably a little bit if the seasons, you know, seems to be going down or things start to like just need some changing, a little bit of freshening up. And uh, definitely going to change this relief spot with Wilmer Font there. No, 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 no. We're going to bring up... Um, is there, there, there usually is someone here that's kind of got some glitchy stats so maybe i don't know i guess he kind of looks the best you know what we'll give john axford a shot why not i mean it's kind of a test season anyways i mean we i feel like we made some moves but i'm gonna test it out that's basically what it comes down to it's a test season and i feel like we have the pieces that allow us to you know test some things out so that's season one in the books we're gonna go to draft day and uh, I was thinking about skipping draft day. So, yeah. All right. I think I found some pretty good prospects for us to join us. Probably by season two, maybe even season three. I think we did really good in the draft this year. And, I mean, look at this guy. Julian Amaya. We had the ninth pick. This guy slipped all the way down to the ninth pick. He's a 75 overall shortstop. Look at those hitting stats. Fielding stats, kind of trash. And I may have an idea Biggio has played in the outfield before, so maybe we get rid of Grichik's contract, trade him away, um, move Biggio to right field, and move this guy to second base. He's got 89 potential. He is definitely a player we need to get involved. We picked up this closer with 72 overall, 81 potential, so he won't be too terrible either. His per nines are a little low in certain areas. We got a 64 overall closer with 84 potential. Solid. We got 270 potential players here. And then we finished the draft with an 82 potential, 61 overall starting pitcher. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the draft. So the whole idea of me actually having a decent team didn't really play out. We didn't even go 500, which is a little disappointing because I thought we assembled a team that should have at least gone 500. I got an itch. That's why I did that weird thing. But let's take a look. We went 80 and 82. Um, doubles for Vlad Jr. He was a, a league leader. When we look at awards... We have Rookie of the Year, J.D. Martinez was the MVP, and Reese Hoskins hit almost 60 home runs. And so did J.D. Martinez, I didn't even realize that, but um, Rookie of the Year for Vlad Jr. So we had Drury kind of move up to the leadoff spot, Biggio really didn't fit that role. Um, he actually wasn't terrible, I mean for a bench bat going forward, he might be a player that we need to keep. Um, Grichik, I was thinking about trading him, his potential went down, which I don't understand because he had a career year, home runs, RBIs doubles were up there i don't understand why he he's going down in potential there's so many things wrong with franchises um progression like potential attribute progress like increases and decreases and regression and oh it's so bad they need to change that for next year vlad jr amazing season almost 40 home runs almost 100 rbis 46 doubles a 310 average almost a 400 on base percentage he is a player we need to keep around as long as possible. Justin Smoke, again, he went down and he had a good year. What is the deal for this potential? He had a, another like career year, 30 home runs, almost 100, uh, almost 90 RBIs. Like, it makes no sense to me. Lourdes Guriel, solid. I mean, 30 home runs, 86 RBIs. I told you guys, this guy turns into a beast. You need to get him for left field. Kevin Biggio hit 217, a little disappointing. Um, but like I said, I may move him to right move Grichik to center and then Teoscar Hernandez might be traded even though he has a potential it makes it a little bit more of a good idea to trade him he has a potential he's going to have good trade value trade him we keep Grichik in center we trade him for like a good starting pitcher or a good reliever we got Bichette at short we just drafted that shortstop that we can move in for like season two or season three I think we're I think we're good there our boy Danny struggled a little bit at the plate. Billy McKinney's looking like a solid little option we could use for outfield as well. Uh, maybe put him in like right field. Uh, maybe put Guriel in right. We'll, we'll have to wait and see how we work things out. And Reese McGuire did pretty good on the bench as well. Overall, offensively, I, it looks like we did well. It's it, it, I guess our 
issues were in the uh, the pitching staff. Garrett Richards, like I said, I thought he was going to do well. Guess he really didn't. He's a player we're probably going to trade next year. Trent Thornton was okay. Um, we'll have to see. His per nines are pretty bad, so we may have to trade him. Thomas Pannone, kind of the same thing. Per nines aren't amazing, so we we'll, might have to trade him. Nick Kingham, I'm going to give him one more year. I know I'm not really like kind of I'm kind of contradicting myself like oh their ERAs aren't that good their per nines aren't that good but as a long reliever I feel like he's gonna have close to 70 in almost every single stat next year so I think he's gonna be a, a decent long reliever as these guys I mean maybe maybe I give him one more year I'll give him one more year we'll see law was good Gaviglio not terrible at all he had a really good whip which is what I'm liking a lot um Axford struggled, but, you know, he's 36, probably didn't do him too well. Tapera's probably not coming back, even though he's got decent per nines. I don't understand why he did poorly. Um, Crick lowered his ERA by two. At the trade deadline, he had a 7.5 ERA. So, whoever told me this guy's a beast, you're a liar, and you can't be trusted. <laughs> I'm just, um, Maiza didn't do too well either, and neither did Ken Giles. So, um, we may be looking for some setup help there. Um, I guess we could take a look at some of our prospects, but overall i mean luciano maybe in the future but we definitely need some help going forward let's see who wins the world series really quick and then let's just get into the postseason the dodgers be defeat the yankees what a surprise the dodgers win another world series and then view retired players john axford kind of expected um exclusive negotiations you know what let's just bring justin smoke back for a year i mean he wasn't he wasn't bad at all for four million i'll take that he was actually a really good hitter um we definitely need to sign some new new staff so i'll jeff i'll just throw out some big money to dave roberts he's got amazing stats and then we need someone here let's go with him see if we can get him for a long-term deal and let's just keep moving forward all right baldwin signed and dave roberts went to the white Sox. awesome all right let's take a look quickly um at our arbitration not shoemaker we will do Drury because he was a decent little bench back for, for us. 21 home runs, 74 RBIs. He played almost every game as well. So I guess he wasn't a bench bat. He was like a key piece to the team. Um, to Para, I'm not too sure about. And then Teoscar Hernandez, we'll, we will bring back. Um, when we look at contracts, I mean, I think we got to give everybody one because everybody kind of played a key piece into the team this season. To start season two, what we're going to do is we're going to trade for a new pitcher. We're going to trade for Daiwan Walker, who I've actually had some pretty good success with in recent rebuilds. Um, I also do some rebuilds off camera, so you guys, so I can get a little research done. We're going to trade Anthony Alford, um, who I just don't think is ever going to feature, along with kind of a failure last year in Garrett Richards. So there's that. Right, so really, that was the only move I want to make. I think I'm going to let the team kind of sit and uh, see how things go. I'm going to let Teoscar Hernandez, I'll give him one more half of a season. We're going to see how this works out for us. Um, I don't really want, why is why is my pitcher in the eighth spot? I don't really like that. So we're going to, we're going to give this a shot. Um, I guess, I guess we'll just rock with this. So our boy Danny needs to start a catcher. So we're going to rock with this. Um, I know it's, it's kind of all over the place versus righties and lefties and lefties and righties. I'm definitely going to change that up, but for the most part, it looks the same. The only thing that's changed is Taiwan Walker's a pitcher. We also brought in Jacob Barnes as a reliever. I like his per nines besides his walks per nine. So I want to see how he's going to do. Um, our farm system's looking a little sparse in the pitching department, but overall, everybody else improved. We also brought in Shane Green for a year just to kind of see how he does as that setup guy. I think we're in a good spot. Um, again, I feel like we have good players. I feel like we underperformed last year. Like I said, Nick Kingham has developed quite well. I feel like every young player starting to, you know, go up in rating and develop. I think we're in a good spot. I hope we're in a good spot at least. Um, I'm, at, at deadline day, I definitely think we'll probably, I definitely think we'll have to make moves. It just all depends on what players are performing well and what players are performing poorly. So let's see how it goes. I'll see you guys at deadline day. All right. So the whole Kyle Crick trade, mm -mm, not working out. Um, uh, yeah, it's just. He's not doing well at all. Uh, we're going to go for Dan Altavilla or Altavilla from the Mariners. He's kind of a, like a un, like a player who plays above his rating. I'm thinking about trying to sneak another bullpen arm. I just don't know who. Or maybe try to get like a player we can trade like in their farm system. That way we can at least get something back because we had a little bit of extra trade value. So we're going to move Altavilla up to the starting like bullpen area. And I think that's the only change that I want to make 
for this season. I mean, Jacob Barnes isn't doing too well, but overall, for the most part, our bullpen's doing quite well. So I'm pretty happy with it. The lineup, I'm going to leave it for now. I definitely have some changes I want to do for season three. Things are going well, so I don't want to change it. That's kind of how it is. Things are going really well. So might as well don't, like, don't break just don't change it that's basically what i'm trying to say i i, I kind of had a just a, a minor brain fart and i didn't know what i wanted to say so we're just gonna leave it as is i just wanted to get rid of that one bad egg that we had in the bullpen let's just keep moving forward through season two all right the moves that we made panned out we made the postseason as a wild card team but at least we made the postseason so 90 and 72 were taken on the athletics which i think is actually a pretty good matchup for us when we look at league leaders ken giles had the most saves which is okay it was good i also extended his contract during the year he won delivery man of the year mvp was mike trout who hit 61 home runs and so did bryce harper jesus christ holy cow um let's take a look see how things went on our bench billy mckinney again solid little bench bat for us um, how did Brandon Drury did? Again, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, when we look at the squad, Randall Grichik, I think it'll be time to trade him. His run production is not bad. It's just if we're paying him $10 million a year, I want a little bit better run production and uh, on-base percentage, stuff like that. Kevin Biggio, I mean, he's getting a good amount of doubles, home runs, RBIs and stuff. It's just that that average isn't there. So we'll have to see how that goes. When we look at Vlad, he's just a beast, dude. You can't. I just, oh my God, he's so good. Um, Lourdes Gurriel, he's still very solid. Um, didn't have as good of a year as last year. Definitely wish that was a little bit higher, but pretty similar run production. Strikeout numbers did go up as well. Rowdy Tellers might be a player I'm cool with just being our first baseman. We don't need to bring back Justin Smoke. Bo Bichette still developing, but um, pretty similar to what he did last year. Very, very close to being the same. Justin Smoke, I mean, it's starting to show that he's decreasing in rating. So like I said, Rowdy Tellers will probably be our first baseman. And we could probably find a new bench bat that has a little bit of power um, to take that DH spot. To Oscar Hernandez, he's got that trade value. I might trade him um, because we, um, and then we'll we'll find a maybe get a new center fielder, maybe get a new right fielder, or move Biggio to right field, something like that. Because this guy looks so good. Um, his potential's gone down, but he looks unreal. He looks like he's a someone we need to get into second base um, because he's got poor fielding. I think that's the, the position that fits him best. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. I moved him to second base because it kind of fit that spot a little bit better. When we look, look at uh, pitching, okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. Um, whip went up a little bit, but overall not too bad. Ryan Barucki's looking like a very solid pitcher. I like to see that. Taiwan Walker struggled a little bit in the second half, was a lot better in the first half. Trent Thornton, mm, Pannone, mm. Uh, maybe Sean Reed Foley comes up next year. We'll have to wait and see. Um, Luciano, Armas, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, Kingham, his, his stats are good. It's just that ERA is so bad. Even the whip's not bad. Um, strikeout numbers aren't bad either. It's just that ERA is a little high. Altavia was good. Derek Law was very good. Um, Gaviglio, the ERA is high. It's just the whip's... Um, actually, the whip's good. The ERA is just a little high. Jacob Barnes struggled a little bit. Shane Green struggled in the second half, but was still pretty, pretty respectable numbers. Tim Meza had a very good bounce back season. I want this next year and we'll be set with the lefty. And then Ken Giles was lights out. And that's why I signed him to a pretty long term deal. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with the way the team performed. Obviously, we made the postseason. The bullpen looks very, very good. We just need to find replacements probably for Barnes and uh, maybe trade Kingham for a proper long reliever that's doing well. Maybe find some outfield help um, come the offseason. But looking into this game against the Athletics, quick manage. We'll have to go into it. Ricky Henderson Field. We're going to let... We're going to go Barucky. I have more faith in Barucky. Um hit by pitch first and second vlad makes bases loaded guriel hits into a double play perfect just what i want um their team looks the same they've just added dickerson and kevin pilar okay randall gritchick as i say i'm like looking to trade you and replace you what do you go and do you give us the lead what what are the odds i mean it happens every time every time i say i'm going to trade somebody this coming off season they did just like play so well in the postseason so bases loaded he gets out of that jam, which is perfect. They do score that inning, though, so um, it is a tie game. But Baraki so far has been pitching really well. Uh, Manea only went four, five innings. So 
Biggio, thank you. That's what I needed from you. I needed to see that run production. Vlad brings in another run. We have a three-run lead. I'm going to let... Mm, no more Baraki. Um, I don't... I want to save Meza just in case. So I'm going to go to Altavia. I feel confident with him. He gets out of... There we go. We get out of that jam. No runs there. Seventh inning. Can he at least give me one more inning? This is what I was kind of waiting for. The lefty matchup. But I'm going to go to... We'll just leave it. Sack bunt. And he gets us out of the inning. Perfect. I'm glad I didn't change because... Whew, I feel like that could have came back to that hurt us. Um, Shane Green in the eighth. One, two, three inning. Perfect. We're going to go obviously go to our closer next inning. And let's hope Ken Giles shuts the door. And he does. We advance. Randall Grichuk went four for five. I mean, maybe I just need to start talking poorly about my uh, starters for them to do well in the, the postseason and stuff like that. Say, oh, man, I'm going to trade you. And then uh, they'll do well. So we're going to have Taiwan Walker start. No, I want it like that. We'll go like that. That should that should be how it is. Yeah. So first game, we get a 2 nothing win against the Astros. We lose the second game. We win the third. And we advance. We're taking on the Yankees in the ALCS. So we need um, everybody just to move back one. Actually, Baruki should be full strength now. So we're, we should be set. I feel like we have a good matchup against the Yankees. We lose the first, win the second, win the third, win the fourth. And we're in the World Series Season 2. We're taking on the Cubs. Oh, man. That's a good start, too. We get that win. Oh, we do lose that one. We lose that one. Facing elimination after a 17-2 loss. Oh, man. But what a season from the wild card to the World Series. We got to have Derek Rodriguez take the mound. How are we going to do against Jose Quintana? So looking at their squad, they brought in Ryan Healy, but everybody else looks the same for the Cubs squad. Let's see what we can do here. One, two, three for us. Um, come on, guys. We need a hit. We only have one. <laughs> All right. So no run scores there. Man, this is a, a pretty pitcher, like, strong outing. It's a pitcher-friendly outing. Come on. Get us out of this inning, bud. Ah, oh, you're not going to. Um, Oh, our bullpen's just destroyed. Two runs scored. One run scores. And, I mean, that put, put him in a tough spot. So I guess I can't be too upset. We're going to go to Drury here. He strikes out. Gritchick gets out. Biggio gets on. Come on, right here. Bases loaded for smoke. And he gets out. Man, we needed him to be... Like, we needed him there. We needed some good... Something to happen. We need something good to happen, is what I'm trying to say. And, of course, we don't do it. Um, we're still down three. We have six outs left. Can we do anything? No, it's just... Not, not our day. Not our day, unfortunately. Craig Kimbrell comes in. Bichette brings us within two... Oh, man. Um, pinch hit. We got... Do we go McGuire? No, 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 no. Tellez? I think it's got to be Tellez. Come on, Tellez. Double play to end it. Oh, no. You know what? That's promising, though. We made the World Series. We're going to have a playoff MVP um, for Kevin Biggio. Amazing postseason. So, okay. I like what I saw there. Who kind of went quiet? Grichik went quiet after that. Um wild card game these two no come on guys we need a look mm. oof so the bats went a little bit quiet it looks like the the pitching held their own for the most part okay maybe not panone but um yeah for the most part the pitching did very very well i mean when you look at the games besides like right here where they allowed five or six it's mostly like two to one one to two five runs there three runs there four runs there this was an outlier Everything else was a really low-scoring game for the my opponent. And, I mean, even the game we lost in the, the last game, we lost 3-1. to one. So, I mean, the pitching did well. Just the offense was not there. Heading into the offseason, let's see. Anybody retire? No. Man, we're so close. You know what? Green didn't do too poorly. But I feel like we might be able to find other, other options. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head into the offseason. Um... Arbitration wise, I feel like Taiwan Walker is going to have a really good year this year. Derek Law pitched well for us. Altavia pitched well. I feel like I'll bring him back. I might end up trading him. And then everybody's going to get a contract here for sure. So season three, 
it's going to be a good year. So to start season three, we're actually going to be making a trade for a new starting pitcher. You say Kikuchi for Randall Grichik and Sean Reed Foley, um, which means we actually do have a couple extra starting pitchers. I might actually package like Thornton and Pannone and see if we can just get somebody else. Um, which is actually what I'm gonna do. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right So we're gonna be replacing Randall Grichik with Travis Jankowski as a bench bat We're also gonna bring in Joey Lucchese as a pitcher. He had a pretty good last season um, And the year before wasn't too terrible either So he's gonna be taking the spot of like Thornton or Pannone since we just brought in that extra starting pitcher in Kikuchi I think we're doing pretty solid with starting pitching now. So when you look at our squad This is what we're looking like to start the season. We got we brought up Amaya Obviously, he's our new second baseman. He looks just way too good um, even his potential has gone up over the offseason, so something is clicking. We got Bichette, Vlad Jr., Jack Peterson's our new first baseman. Rowdy Tellez is going to be our DH. We got Lourdes Guriel, who I want to move him up, but I just don't know where to put him. We got Kevin Biggio playing right field um, because he could. He's got good fielding. He can fit that spot. To Oscar Hernandez, we're going to see how he did or does. How we did does. Um, we could also trade him. Um, we might do that at the deadline and then when you look at the rotation i mean it just looks so nice and then our bullpen looks like this we obviously have um kingdom down here who we could trade um i'm basically trying to clear the farm system to get as many good players as we can oh free agency we found a pretty good pickup jared kelenic a potential player i'm gonna hold off because no teams are gonna allow me to trade to, like trade them to them right now it always gets that like we're not interested in that trade but at the deadline if we need a good pickup we have a really good trade piece available so the team is scary i mean if you saw this team in the future oh my god you know some damage is being done overall i'm pretty happy with everything let's get into season three so the deadline i want to strengthen that bullpen that's really the weak link of our our team everything else is doing really well which is weird because I felt like our bullpen's been one of our stronger team, like parts of the team. But this season, it's been a, a little bit of a letdown. So we're going a little bit of overboard with this trade. We don't really need Jared Kalinick or Kalinich to make it happen, but we're we're gonna do it. Um, it's the last year the the season um, or last year the rebuild, and to make it happen, we're gonna do it. Uh, we're also trading Sam Gaviglio and Jacob Barnes, both really the biggest weak weak links of the squad. Um, four plus ERAs. So we're going to trade them for Archie Bradley and Kelvin Herrera of the White Sox. Now, I think this might do it. Um, let me take a look at the, the, uh, bullpen. You guys can see, I forgot to mention Blake Trinan came into the squad. Um, I'll show you guys that we signed him to a two year deal versus for 8 million. Um, in the roster history, I'll show you, it was a free agent deal. So you guys don't think it's any like forced trades or anything like that. You guys can see Blake Trinan was a free agent. We brought him in. So I think I think now we should be good. I think everybody that we just trade for is part of the squad. We definitely have other trade pieces we could use, like Pearson, Luciano. It's just, look at this squad. It is so good. I mean, we brought up Kingham because Gaviglia wasn't doing well in the long relief role. Really, the only person who's doing poorly is Kikuchi, but I don't think he's going to finish the year poorly. So, whew. This team is nice. I want to see what we're ranked. You guys, we're ranked sixth? Really? Um, you guys can see we have a three and a half game lead in the division. So I'm feeling good. Let's finish off this season. This new look Blue Jays team is looking nice because, oof, we won the division, which is good. But we won 98 games, lost 64. We're taking on the Twins in the division series to see how league leaders and stuff went. Vlad. Oh, man. He, he, he didn't have the most home runs. That's the crazy thing. Um, he won the Silver Slugger. JD Martinez won MVP, and Bryce Harper won it back to back years. How many home runs has he hit for the last three years? Jesus, so many. Um, look at our bench. McKinney's always been really good. So I guess if you if you need like a, a left fielder for cheap, McKinney's that dude. Brandon Drury's been really good for us too. Okay, um, Julian Amaya. Holy cow, is he a beast? Holy, what a pick! What a pick. Bo Bichette did very well. Holy smokes. 22 homers, 87 RBIs, 33 doubles. Man, he's going to be... Oh, man. Vlad is nuts. Look at look at that. 42 homers, 116 RBIs, 336 average, and OPS of 1037. Yikes. He is scary. And 39 doubles. Lourdes Guriel. He's cooling off. I'm cooling off. I don't like that. I like this number right here. Not this. Um... Jack Peterson wasn't bad either. 43 home runs, 103 RBIs. Nice. I love to see that. Rowdy Tellez, 
um, been pretty productive as that DH, really solid. Kevin Biggio starting to starting to find his groove. Okay. Alrighty, average is going up. The the doubles dipped a little bit, but home runs and RBIs are still pretty much the same. Teoscar Hernandez is getting a little bit better. Strikeout's still high, but the average and stuff is going up. Good doubles numbers, good home run numbers. Our boy Danny. It's getting better. I like to see that. I'm not gonna complain about that at all. Let's take a look at our pitching, see how things went. Kikuchi got brought his ERA down. The whip is down. I like that. That's good. Derek Rodriguez. Okay. I mean, I like that. I like to see that too. Taiwan Walker is the wins and losses aren't there, but I'm cool with those stats. Good whip, good ERA. Joey Lucchese, 2.88 ERA, 1.2 whip. Oof. Loving it. Barucky's looking nice too. Oh, yeah. Why did we bring up Altavia? Why? Was um, Kingham doing bad? Let's see. Yeah, he was. Holy cow. So either we got to bring up Altavia or Kingham. Who do we trust more? Um, let's, let's stick with Kingham. Stick with Kingham. I'm going to, I'm going to do something crazy. We're going to stick with Kingham. Um, let's take a look at the rest of the bullpen. Derek Law was amazing. Archie Bradley was solid. Kelvin Herrera was amazing. Nick Kingham, a little rough, a little rough. Um, Blake Trinan, amazing. Tim Meza struggled the second half. And Ken Giles was like a great closer to have. Love it. Back to back years. Um, five blown saves in two seasons. Whew. Under 10 in the last three. Whew. This team is nice. This team is so good. So let's hop into this postseason matchup against the Twins. And. Huh? 14 nothing. Are you serious? I don't know. What? Huh? How? All right, so they have Rendon, Vogelbach, Kirloff's up, Verdugo. Okay. Okay, great start. Great start. Um, we got out of it somehow with only allowing a run, though. So that's good. Um, can we get a run back? No. Okay, sweet. Come on, Taiwan Walker. We need something out of you here. Jock Peterson ties it up. Okay. Taiwan Walker's getting a little tired through four, so we got to be careful here. I need, I need my, like, Vlad and stuff to do well. Gets us out of that. One run does score, though. So we're still down one. He's going to be done. We're going to go to... I don't really want to go to a lefty yet. Let's go Archie Bradley. Double play. Perfect. All right. So we're going Caleb Ferguson. Come on. There's a walk. Okay. Strikeout. Oh, man, really? The, the bats have gone quiet. Two hits. And it's like, we have a scary team. How are we only getting two hits? Lefty, lefty. It's our last chance. We got to go Brandon Drury here. He grounds out. Biggio grounds out. Like, how does our team go so quiet? Look at two runs, one run. Um, that was bad. Zero runs. We allowed 14 runs here. What happened? Like, who allowed all these runs? I need to see this. The bullpen. Law, Herrera, and Meza just fell apart and like it was a three-run game up until like the fifth i mean we scored a total of three runs in this series that's just not good enough like a team that when you look at their like our run productions like 14 and 64 out of our leadoff spot next one 22 87 vlad 42 116 next up 21 71 jock peterson 43 101 103 tayez was up there Kevin Biggio even was up there. Teoscar Hernandez was not terrible. Like, we should be scoring more than two runs a game. That is so bad. Man, that is disappointing to see. We, I can't believe it. And I'm pretty sure we're like, what, the third best team in baseball? Yeah. Man, that is, that's rough. I'll take a, the Twins are the 11th. The Astros are number two. Like, we we really should have done better there. That's That's disappointing to lose it like that but i hope you guys enjoyed it i feel like this team like this team should have run ragged they should have done whatever they wanted with any team in this league and they it just fell apart i don't know what happened so i hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild if you did like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoying the content and in the comment section let me know what video you guys want to see next 
I appreciate all the support lately. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.